Welcome hey, back. that was me under the table. I, I got my clogs on and I'm doing Amazing. a little dance. I'm really quite good. Yes, I am <laughs> excellent. But I didn't want to upstage our next guest, Bridget okay. Ryan, with some people who are true professionals. <laughs> That's today. right. That's why I didn't show it off on air and I just kind of did a little subtle under the table. That was pretty good. But coming yeah. up uh, later in the show, I can't remember what time it is, but we'll get you to be dancing. Yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. All right. Well, hey, Bridget, uh, checking out the 2009 Edmonton Clog Show. What's the deal with clogs? Well, this is it, my friends. Take a look. Let me share with you our guests before I, uh, you know, they're resting right now. They've just been working it pretty hard, so uh, practicing. But you're, you're in store. Do you know what clogging is? Have you read your lineup, Ryan and Wendy? Well, we, yes, we, we <laughs> were just reading the lineup, and I have to be honest with you, Bridget. I thought, I, I've always thought that clogs were the wooden shoes that you find in Holland. Yeah. But I'm assuming that's... that you don't dance in those. Well, I think that was maybe the, it was, it's, it stems from an, isn't it an Appalachian dance? Like back in the 1700s? Well, yes, Bridget, as a matter no? of fact, it's it is. It's a Gaelic word meaning time. Yes, it's a type yes. of folk dance rooted in the traditional European dancing <laughs> from the British Isles. As the dance migrated to England in the 1400s, all the wooden clog was replaced by a leather top shoe with a oh. piece called flats, and they became popular. Well, there oh, you shoot. go. They were just showing us reading that. Oh, now, <laughs> oh, now everybody's going to know it wasn't off the top of our heads. Now, I have a funny story about shoes I wanted to share with you guys. Actually, it's not even funny. It's kind of tragic. Okay. Well, you know how, um, first of all, everybody, in, people have gone off on... Uh, shoe sit that the, the the bay the shoe department mm -hmm. you know you go in there and they've got great shoes but there's always one lady who's just exhausted working like you know 50 ladies looking yes. for shoes you know you know what he's with so of course i uh, last night was um at the bay looking at shoes and so yeah you know how you just kind of take your shoes off and then you walk around and just try them on i was wearing sandals so i just left my sneakers in a spot that I, you know, thought was safe and was trying shoes on, found a beautiful pair, came back, my shoes were gone. What? what? My shoes are gone. I, sh I left the bay at Southgate with no shoes anymore. No. I have no shoes. I had to buy shoes. So they were unquestionably <laughs> stolen or did somebody actually like Maybe purchase your old them. shoes? Well, that's what I don't know. I don't know what happened to my shoes. I just know that I went back to get them. And then, of course, I spent 20 minutes combing, like, under every sort of sitting area and then every display. And I thought maybe somebody took these dirty, dirty sneakers and put them on a display. Maybe they thought that was the new look of the season. Spring, dirty 09. I didn't think that was it, but I looked on the displays, and I couldn't find my shoes anywhere. How upsetting. Oh, well, you know, their cleaning crew is very efficient. So, you know, you leave those things lying around for two seconds, and all of a sudden, it's like, I'm sorry, clean up on aisle six. And I, I wouldn't doubt, you know, there's a cautionary tale here, for sure. And it is that if you are going to leave your shoes, either A, leave a note, but don't leave. Like, for 30 minutes, I was wandering around. Oh, look at these, trying on shoes, walking around in them to see if they were comfortable. And then I came back, like, 30 minutes later, and my shoes were gone. Oh, so, man. Huh. Well, I'll tell you what, I will monitor <laughs> eBay, Bridget, all morning long, just to see if B. Ryan's shoes oh. <laughs> appear in one of the hot new listings. Bridget, am I a bad person that, I that, that like, for on first glance I feel really bad for that story but then <laughs> as someone but. with larger than average feet who can never find stylish shoes to fit I'm I've fast forwarded my mind and thought that means you're the kind of person who can just try on anything in dis on display and it can fit I'm and a seven. I'm the one who needs yep. like special service and they have to like get the men's <laughs> shoes modified and everything so suddenly you know what that's the price you pay, sister, for having a pretty little foot. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Well, this is the thing. And then Wendy Sam, the story gets even more tragic. I was forced, forced to buy a pair of shoes. Thus is what I, I think they actually, this is how they work. Oh, you know, oh yeah. that's smart. Well, I mean, and that's a terrible thing for a girl to have to be have yeah. forced into Awful. buying a new pair of shoes. Awful. Awful. You know, cute little beige and naturalizer sandals. I, you know, Ooh. I had, yo. Yeah, oh, mm. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was, but it was ridiculous. I thought, I, I literally was sweating by the end. I, you know how it's early departure when a, a piece of clothing, I've had those shoes for probably five, six years. They were good to go. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But, you know, I, you, I you was. You haven't said your goodbyes yet. Exactly. Yeah, I, I had to say goodbye. You know, one of the most contentious high school arguments I ever saw, and don't fight, kids, don't fight, but a friend of mine, we were at a gathering, and of course you leave your shoes at the door of the house because that's just how you roll, you know, if you're being polite. They were these special edition Lakai skate shoes, okay? okay? They go missing. He's choked. He's choked like you're choked, Bridget. <laughs> the next summer, I'm not kidding, we're at, a we're at a gathering down by the Bow River, 
Buddy sees his special edition Lakais being worn around <gasps> by a guy that we went to high school with that graduated the year ahead of us. Oh. And it went down. Because <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, we're all wearing like green Chuck Taylors. It was like, no, those are my Lakais, the special edition Lakais, and it went down and he got his shoes back. Oh my. Oh. A year later. I hope you'd want them back. It's the principle of the thing, it's isn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly. So. Huh. All right, well, we'll keep an eye out for yours. <laughs> uh, quickly, before we go to break, Ryan Jesperson, thumbs up or thumbs down on the new Star Trek? Uh, not only one, but two thumbs up. Huge thumbs up. Okay, awesome. Have you seen Wolverine yet? Uh, I have not seen Wolverine. No, but Ooh. we had the Tang. Well, two of the triplets were on our show this morning, Bridget, while you were driving to your location. And uh, they're in the new Wolverine movie. So we're going to be watching a little more carefully when we do see it. Absolutely. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, and then when we come back, these rock stars are going to be tap, tap, tap. They're going to be clogging for us here. Say hello, everybody. It's breakfast television, for heaven's sakes. All of Edmonton is watching you and your fancy feet this morning. When we come back, we're going to talk clog show 09, as well as uh, an incredible gentleman who's having a basketball fundraiser for a great cause happening tomorrow and Saturday. More BT after this, or this weekend, I should say.